Hi friends, welcome to another new lecture of Era of Geology. In this lecture, I am going to teach you the rate of evolution or molecular changes. So let's start. Basically, the magnitude of change of a particular trait over time is known as evolutionary rate or molecular rate. And basically, evolutionary rate or molecular rate are of four type: horotelli, tracheotelli, bradytelli, and quantum evolution. Okay, friend. So, when evolutionary rate or molecular rate is too slow or too fast, when it continues at an average rate, it is called as horotelli. When evolutionary rate is very slow, it is known as bradytelli. and basically when the evolutionary rate or molecular rate is very fast it is known as tracheotelli and the accelerated phase of punctuated equilibrium is called as quantum evolution okay friend so now we will talk about the measure of evolutionary rate with the example of equine teeth okay friends so basically here we are going to analyze the changes the molecular changes or the changes of evolution or the evolutionary the evolutionary changes in the teeth of equine okay friends to measure the evolutionary rate so basically in the first period in the period of eocin the hyracotherium originated basically the modern horse came from hydacotherium so the earliest animal to bear recognizably horse like anatomy was hydacotherium it had 44 low crown teeth in the typical arrangement of an omnivorous browsing mammals the dentition formula was three incisor one canine four premolars and three molars on each side of the jaw its molars was uneven dull bumpy and used primarily for grinding foliage the cusp of the molar was slightly connected in low crest okay so then orohippus came in the age or in the period of eocene orohippus came in this form the first premolar teeth were dwarf the last premolar shifted in the shape and function into a molar and the crest on the teeth became more pronounced both of these factor gave the teeth of orohippus greater grinding ability suggesting that orohippus at tough plate materials okay friends so here you can see that the changes in the teeth of orohippus from hydacotherium okay friend so next eohippus come so basically in the period of eocene eohippus came eohippus a genus which continue the evolutionary trend of increasingly efficient grinding teeth evolved from orohippus epihippus had five grinding lower crown cheek teeth with well formed crest okay friend and then mesohippus came in the oligocene so basically before that we was we was actually talking about the period of eocene but now we will talk about the period of oligocene so basically in the oligocene mesohippus came so in the oligocene they began developing tougher teeth the dentition was still brachydont in this case molar were still low crown the last two premolar were molar form okay and then in the period of oligocene myohippus came so basically in the middle of oligocene myohippus emerged it began to show a variable extra crest in its upper cheek teeth a trait that became a characteristic feature of equine teeth the teeth were still low crown okay friend and basically now in the miocene so basically before that we was talking about oligocene but now miocene period started so in the miocene parahippus come so basically its four premolar resemble the molar teeth and the first were small and almost non existent the molar of the upper jaw were exchanged into grinder by the deposition of cement between the cusp 
द टॉप इनसाइजर्स हैड ए ट्रेस ऑफ ए सैलो क्रिस मार्किंग द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द कोर और कप दे हैव हिप्सोडॉन टाइप ऑफ डेंटिसन ओके फ्रेंड सो यू कैन सी दैट हाउ द टीथ द मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर और द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ टीथ एक्चुअली चेंजिंग फ्रॉम हाइड्रोथेरियम टू सो ऑन ओके एंड बेसिकली नाउ इन द मायोसिन मेडी चिप्पस कम सो दे एपियर इन द मिडिल ऑफ मायोसिन इपॉक दे हैड वाइडर मोलर दैन इट्स एनसेस्टर टीथ वेर हाई क्राउंड आई मीन टू से हिप्सोडोंट एंड फुली सीमेंटेड ग्राइंडार्स डायस्टेमा वॉज वेल डेवलप इन दिस केस इन दिस स्पीसीज then hyperion comes so basically now pliocene period started and in the pliocene hyperion came so basically the main difference was in the structure of tooth enamel the teeth were straight with cusp adapted for grinding they became extinct in the upper pleistocene epoch so now pliocene also going on so in the pliocene pliohippus also came so basically the crown of the upper molars were similar to those of modern horse but the pattern of ridge was not so elaborated molar became more complex than earlier form okay friend and then in the pliocene plesippus came they appear in the upper pliocene epoch their teeth had long and less curved crowns okay and in the pleistocene the modern horse i mean to say equus come so the crown of the molar were much elongated and possess complicated enamel ridges adapted to feed on dry and harsh grasses grasses so basically you can see that the change of teeth from uh, hip, from the hydracotherium to equus so you can see that how the teeth i mean to say the structure of the teeth the molecular changes occur the evolutionary changes occurs in the teeth from hydracotherium to equus to measure the evolutionary rate okay friend so here you can see the conclusion throughout the phylogenetic development the teeth of the horse underwent significant change the type of original omnivorous teeth with short pumpy molar with which the prime molars of the evolutionary line distinguished themselves gradually changed into the teeth common to herbivorous mammals they became long roughly cubical molar equipped with a flat grinding surface okay friend so basically it is actually our today's lecture that is rate of evolution or molecular changes i hope this note wise lecture will help you a lot and subscribe this channel and also like this lecture thank you so much